Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to use three instruments on how to trade the boom and crash. It's a nice, easy strategy to follow. You can make a lot of money by only using these strategies. The only thing you need to understand is how to draw out an order block, how to draw out a fair value gap, and how to use the OTE entry on the Fibonacci tool. So as you can see, I'm on the one hour on crash 1000. This works on all pairs. So we are looking for an impulse move down to, so that we can see, all right, price is starting to move. So as you can see, yeah, price is consolidating on the one hour. There's no break. Um, if we draw it out, you can see this is the initial breakout. Even when we go here, if we take this high to this low of the consolidation, let's quickly draw that out. That's the high. This is the highest high. Sorry, that one. And this is the lowest low. So before then, you can see. This was the high, this was the low. Price broke out of this um, consolidation. It closed a little bit with the body, a week in a body. So now let's start drawing the OTE. I'm going to show you how easy this is and you can trade it both ways, but it is going to take a lot of backtest for you to get comfortable as well. So the first thing that you wanna draw out is your Fibonacci tool from this high to this low that broke out. These are the levels I'm using. You can take a screenshot and you can put it onto your own charts. All right, so the OTE is the level between the 61 and the 78. So you can draw a nice block there. You can see the color is gold. I'm going to call it the golden zone, the OTE zone. So what do we have? Let's look at this price action here. What do we have inside these levels from the 61 upwards? Do you see we have a nice order block resting above the golden zone, the OTE level? Let's make that um, the color green. And also, do you see we have a fair value gap from this candle to this candle? inside that's overlapping in our OTE zone. Let's make that one pink. So let's go down to the 15 minutes. So we are only looking for entries from the golden zone. So let's go to the 15 or the 10 minute. Let's go to the 10 minute. Let's see if we can find an entry. All right, so as you can see, we are on the 10 minute. We entered our golden zone. Now we're waiting for a market structure shift. So price goes into our zone, into our fair value gap, tapped our order block, came down, we haven't broken any lows yet. We made a new push up. As you can see, we broke this high here with a new push up into our order block. Now where's the last fractal low? It's this one here. We had a market structure shift. Now you can use your FIB again from this high to this low when we broke. We have a small OTE entry from the 61 to the 78. Let's just make that gold. Tapped our level. That's our entry on the one hour. And you can ride it until the one hour FIB for a nice risk to reward. Just to be safe, you can ride it until the zero. You're going to enter there on the 10 minute. Your stops is going to be above this high here. And you're going to target the zero. And on the 10 minute um, fair value gap as well, you can see it's four deviations of that high from that from that high to that low, and it lines up with our zero on the big FIP, and that's a nice entry that you could have took by just entering on the OTE. All right, so let's just delete this. Let's just make the chart a little bit more cleaner. So that was our first entry. Now, as you can see, here's a big push, right? So now what we want to do 
we want to draw a fib from this high to this low. Now, when a big push is created like this, market is going to market is not going to retrace like this back to your entry. Market is going to do small little movements until we enter to move down again. This is our huge push down. Let's just mark out the golden zone, the OTE zone. What do we have from the OTE zone upwards? We have a nice order block overlapping a little bit. Let's just mark that out. Let's make it green. We have a few fair value gaps in the zone. And we also have another order block resting above Yeah. So now that we have our zones, we can delete our FIP. Let's leave our zones there. So we know price is more likely to go into our zones before we see another move either to the upside or downside. Remember, we don't know what market is going to do. Now let's have a look here. This was our first retracement into a fair value gap. Remember, we're not taking any trades. This was our first retracement. We created this low. Remember, we draw drew our FIP there. There's our high. So we're inside of this zone. OTE, order block, order block. All right. We got a reaction from the fair value gap here. We retraced a little bit. We didn't break this low. So that tells us, all right, price didn't want to break this low so we might continue upward so let's see what price is doing now we, we created this high this is internal price action between the, the bigger time frame all right so now we broke this so it's a break of structure now what you can do you can draw your fib from this low to this high remember so now we are targeting our ote zones to see what's going to happen when we enter them. But remember, price is going to do this, retracing back to the OTE and the order blocks we marked out. Now let's have a look from this piece of price action. We broke this high. Let's draw our golden zone here, our OTE zone. Let's make it gold. What do we have inside of this zone? We have a nice fair value gap there. Let's make it pink. And also we have a nice order block resting down here. So there's a few opportunities where you can enter your trades. Let's make it green. Okay, so now we know let's delete the FIB to make it more cleaner. So from this low to this high, that's our zone. So now price is retracing, price is retracing. Let's go down to the 10 minutes. So now we are under 10 minutes. Price came into our OTE level, tapped our fair value gap. Now we're waiting for a market structure shift. There's your last high. As you can see, price broke that high with a little bit of a of a candle that closed above it. So what do we do now? We can draw our FIP from this low to this high. Let's mark out our smaller OTE level. Inside of a higher time frame order block. It's going to be this one here. Let's just make that one green. And you can enter. You can enter your trade and you can target the higher time frame. So remember on our FIB, we drew it from this low to this high. Sorry, that low. There we go. And where can we target? The zero. So you entered from there. And that golden zone there you can put price beneath this low here. 
and you can target the zero that's a one-to-one -one, basically a one-to-one -one trade a little bit of a big stop loss or you can target this level here that makes it a one to six r trade all right let's delete some of this to make it cleaner all right so we entered this we broke this high here on the one hour so now again let's draw our FIP from this low to this high from to this low to this high did we enter our level no so no trade we broke price retraced a little bit broke this high again a huge push into our levels so now we need to be cautious when we are going to take a trade so now first thing you can draw your fib from this low to this high you can mark out your golden zone what's inside of this golden zone a nice small fair value gap as you can see there let's make it pink so now we need to watch out all right this was the low this was the high we inside our big ote level so it's going we need to be cautious of taking a trade because the trade can go against you let's see what's happening on the lower time frame this is the 10 minute we entered our zone here from this zone our big ote zone we came down we entered remember on the higher time frame we we are still in an uptrend let's see what's happening here we enter our zone liquidity got swept this high was broken with a huge push up so in order for us to take this trade this low needs to be broken to the downside to take that initial trade down so that we know the trend is changing so we broke this high again huge push up let's just mark it to see price never entered our ote level we broke this high again we entered our order block to confirm that price now on the lower time frame need, is going to change trend we need to break this low that created this big push let's draw our fib from this low to this high did we enter our ote level no we didn't no trade we broke through our order block we broke this high we broke this high made a huge push up into our order block there now you can draw your fib all right so price is going to retrace now so now this is where you look so we broke through this we broke through this we entered this now if you are not going to look at the higher time frame order block and you're just going to go on stay on the lower time frame and you ignore the higher ones we drew out earlier then you'll get stopped out for example you'll get stopped out if you ignore this you draw your golden zone here price breaks straight through it even the low price break down so if you enter blindly get to get stopped out but here's another indication all right price is starting to change direction why because it broke this low that made this huge push up into our one hour order block now if you want to catch the trade at this if you watch all my other videos i talk about liquidity sweeps market structure shift and so forth what do we see on the 10 minute when we enter our one hour order block we see a liquidity sweep this low broke this high so we need to break this low to confirm our trend so broke the high price is consolidating here we go price broke our high with a huge impulse move we can draw our fib now from this high to this low 
this is our garden zone. All right, do we get tagged into our OTE? No, we don't. So let's quickly see, let's mark our OTEs on the higher time frame where price is likely to go. Let's just delete the previous ones to make the chart a little bit more clear. When we broke this high, we made a new low, right? So let's draw from this low to this high that was created and let's mark out our OTE levels. There's our golden zone. There's a nice order block there. There's even a nice fair value gap there. So now we got three levels. So now we know price tapped into our one hour order block. Price is more than likely to go where? To these levels. Let's delete the FIP. OTE, fair value gap, order block. Okay. So now let's have a look. Remember on the 10 minute, let me just draw it out again. We had that market structure shift. The liquidity got taken. This low was created that pushed up. So this low needs to be broken. There's our market structure shift. Let's go to the one hour to see if it lines up. There we go. That's a fractal low. Candle on the left is higher. Candle on the right is higher. We had our market structure shift. So price is more likely to go where? To these levels that we just drew out from this low to this high. So let's see what happens. So price made this move down, breaking, breaking a bunch of lows. As you can see that low, the last low internal low that was created that pushed up was also broken there. There we go. So now we can draw again our FIB from this high to this low. Remember earlier, we marked out these levels. Sorry, we didn't, we did this one. So this is the new levels. Price is more likely to go to on the smaller time frames. So where we're going to find our entry, we have our OTE level. We have a nice order block level here. Make it green. So let's delete the Let's go down to the 10 minute price entered our OTE level. So this was the last low that broke this high. Remember we have our previous order block there still as well. So this, so we need to see this low gets broken. All right, let's see what's happening. Price entered. We haven't seen this low broken yet. Huge impulse move down. Now this, this is something interesting. I haven't taught it on the YouTube channel as yet, but we can call this a breaker because this is also a fractal low. On the 10 minute, candle on the right is higher, candle on the left is higher, candle on the right is higher. This is a fractal low. So if you're a little bit more aggressive, you can see this as a market structure shift. Otherwise, you can just see this as the market structure shift. So now we know, all right, price is more than likely to go down. So let's see what happens from this high to this low. Did price enter our OTE? No. So there won't be a trade. Let's just go back to the one hour. So there's our lows broken on the lower time frame. If you're looking at the one hour, you are going to wait for this low to be broken to continue the trend down. So let's draw a flip from this high to this low. There won't be any entry there. We broke this low here. 
little bit of retracement. We broke this low here. Into our OTE zone. Let's have a look. Can you draw our FIB? We just missed our OTE entries, so there won't be any trade. Remember, this is the zones that we drew from this low to this high. So we entered it. Retracement, we broke this low again. Into our fair value gap, broken straight through our fair value gap, straight into our order block. So let's see what price is doing on the lower time frames in these levels. Low is broken, huge impulse move down. Again, fair value gap literally got smashed with price. We traced a little bit, got smashed. All right, we didn't break our order block. So now this was the last high that broke this low. So for me, that's a market structure shift that's happening. So now if I draw out my FIB from this low to this high, never tapped into our trading zone. Now we can draw our FIB from this low to this high. Why? Because this low took out this high. and these liquidity levels that's resting right here all right so let's have a look price went up retraced a little bit didn't enter our zone retraced a little bit didn't enter our zone retraced a little bit all right entered our golden zone on the lower time frame so what can we see? What, is there something that's overlapping for a little confirmation? Let's have a look. Let's go to the 15 minute. As you can see, these candles here where the liquidity has been taking, you'll see it a little bit more clear on the 15 minute, hopefully. There we go. So this can be an order block, right? Let's just drag that out. That got traded through. So this turns into a breaker block. So breaker block overlapping with our golden entry, with our OTE entry on the 61. You can take your trade at the top of that one day. Now you can put your stop below this low and you can target the zero. And that's going to be a one to three trade. Let's go back to the one hour. So what we can do for extra confirmation to see where price is likely to go. So we have our first trade, but where's price likely to go? Let's just delete a few things here. If we draw the bigger picture from this high to this low, to this low, we can see our OTE entry would be here. Uh, We have an order block overlapping our 78 with our OTE entry. Let's make that green. And inside of our OTE entry, we have a nice fair value gap that's also resting there. We have two fair value gaps that's resting inside. So price can go to any one of them. There's our second one, fair value gaps. So price is more than likely to go to these zones yeah let's just delete to make it a little bit more cleaner so we had our first trade there let's quickly have a look price broke this high also let's draw our fib from this low to this high that got tapped in we can even draw out our ote levels let's delete it for future reference, so price tapped in our one hour OTE level. Let's go to the 10 minute. So now we got tapped in. Now we're looking for market structure shift. Created a new high. This low created a new high. 
So which low needs to be taken out to confirm a market structure shift? This one right here. Do we have it? Yes, we have it. Let's draw our FIB from that high to this low. There's no entry on the 61.8, 71. We have a nice fair value gap that's resting here. So if you're a little bit more aggressive, you could have taken your trade at the 50 or enter on the fair value gap. But I'm going to do this um, strategy nice and simple to make it easy for everyone. There is different things you can look at, but I'm making this as simple as possible. So on this strategy, there would be no entry. So we know, remember from this low to this high, price is more likely to go where? To this level. So now we can ride it down. Then again. We broke this low from that high to this low. Was there a 50% entry? No. Then we have a continuation. This low was broken here. From this high to this low, do we have an OTE entry? Yes, we do with an overlapping order block. Into your trade and your target can be this level here. Nice short scalp into there. Stops above this high. You can enter and target the zero. That's a one to four trade. Or to be safe, target your OTE entry. There, that's a two risk reward trade okay so let's go back to the one hour all right so now we entered our zone retracement we broke this low here forgot to put this in look here there's a nice order block resting there tapped our order block now we wait to see what price is going to do on the lower time frame. This was the low that that was this was the high that was created that broke this low here. Oh this low was created. We broke this high. So that indicates a market structure shift. So now then again from this low to this high. Did we get tapped in? No. Let's extend it. Price went higher. We broke these highs here. Liquidity resting above. Did price into our entry zone? No. You see, so this is a good way for you to stay out of bad trades. We reacted, but we didn't enter. So price reacted. It went straight back into our previous zones. Let's go to the one hour again, into our, remember this high to this low, this is the zones. Enter again, we had a huge push. Let's quickly see what's happening here. This was the last low on the one hour, if you want to be more conservative. So this high. Did we enter our zones? No, let's extend it. Did we enter our zones? No, let's extend it. Let's extend it. This push down here. There's our lows. Also, this price movement took out this low there. As you can see, with a week, it wasn't a body closure. So its liquidity has been swept. Let's see what price is doing. Price went down. Started moving up after the liquidity has been swept. We broke this high here. Let's just mark out our OTE level. Where price is likely to go. Let's delete the FIB. Price broke this high as well. Now you can start drawing your FIB again.
the price into our level here. Yeah. No, no trade. This high was broken again. Created this push here. Yeah. So from this low to this high, did we enter our OTE level? No, so no trade. We broke this high here. Yeah. So this low was created, that high was created. Let's draw our FIB. Did we enter our OTE level? No, no trade. This high was broken, so from this low to this high, this is where current price is now. Did we enter our OTE level? Yes, we did. Let's mark it out. What's inside of our OTE? A nice fair value gap. Let's go down to the 10 minutes, see if we can find an entry inside of our zones. Liquidity was created, got tapped in. This was our high that made the push. Market structure shift. We're a little bit consolidating, so it's a risky trade. I personally won't take it. From this low to this higher. Smaller OTE level overlapping with our bigger OTE level. You can take your trade into there. Stops below this low remember it's a nice short scope you can target the zero and there you have a one to four risk to reward trade and this is currently where price is now when we extend all our other levels our old levels so price can still go react to our previous levels here yeah? remember we created now relative equal highs so what's resting above these highs liquidity plus we have we're still in this range remember this is our bigger picture range we still consolidating in not consolidating sorry we still dealing within this range yeah so we never broke out this was the initial move these were the scalps you could have taken inside of this move both ways now we're currently sitting where price is now just delete the fib so now we're waiting to see what price does it's going to respect our order block here or if it's going to break to the upside or if price is going to respect and come down and go to the lower side if we look at the four hour this is our zone here you see consolidated broke out we're playing around here let's zoom out currently in a downwards move let's just delete all of this quickly if we draw our ote on the four hour from this low to this high we got tapped into our 61 we're still playing around so our target will be if you were a swing trader to be this zero yeah that's a good risk to reward trade so that's where we are currently so basically what we look for if price is doing this we're looking for price to enter our ot e levels Yes, you are going to take losses. If you take a loss, re-evaluate your setup and see if trend is changing. There we go. So we're only looking for that with confluence with an order block and a fair value gap inside of our OTE. So that's the setups we look for. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And then yes, I will see you in the next one.